Good day and welcome to my channel. So what I'm going to present to you today is the Supreme Tournament 55 Electronic Chess Computer by Millennium. So it is a tournament sized chess board by Millennium. Um, they also have other kinds of boards such as the Chess Genius Pro and the Chess Genius Exclusive. And what I'm going to show you today is a brief overview of this tournament sized board. I have presented some chess boards from Chestnut. If you would like to go and check those out, feel free to do so. I also have some travel chess boards and some in my collection that I will present to you later on. For chess enthusiasts who love to play against the computer, such as electronic chess boards, I do hope that my videos provide some useful insights for you. And without further ado, let's delve into this topic about the Supreme 55 by Millennium. So here it is. This is the Tournament 55 Supreme by Millennium. It is a quite it is quite a big sized board as you can see. Let's see the dimensions. So for each square, each square comes to about 5.5 cm, so 5.5 cm by 5.5. The playing area comes to 40 44.5 cm. Now if, you, if we have a look at the board overall, the dimensions come to about 55, yes, 55 cm. 55 by 55 cm. Let's have a look at the pieces. Here is the queen. And these are the kings. And most importantly, the knight. Each of these pieces have RFID chips inside of them, so they do register the type of piece with the board. As you are playing, you can play online through chess.com or Leech Chess. However, you do need to purchase a separate product to play with this board because Millennium tends to go with modular designs for these boards. So whatever you tend to play with, if you have a central processing unit like a module system such as the chess genius this is the brain of the computer so you can play against the computer with the programs installed inside this unit so it does have chess engines already pre-installed and you can play against those you can also use this um, unit to save your progress and all of the annotations will be displayed on the screen this is the Millennium Chess Link that you will need to play online. So you just connect it through a pin cord right there. There is a kit, there is a pin, there is a pin socket there. It doesn't use USB-Cs like we have nowadays. And you can connect it to a computer via this USB socket right there. This is the switch on and off button. So it is a modular design and there is no Bluetooth connectivity inside the board. Again, you'll have to purchase a separate product such as the Chess Link to play online. This board has four LEDs in each corner per square. So what I'll do now is show you a game. So I'll just select Chess Genius on this module. Well, here are the LEDs. They are light. They are already lit up. I was playing a game before, so that's why all of these LEDs are showing. It's telling me to place the pieces in their correct positions. Nevertheless, let's have a look. So, as I said before, each square has four LEDs. Since there are four corners per square, they are already lit up. 
So what is the advantage of this? So if you're looking at a different angle, these LEDs will show up never the, ne regardless of your head position because if you are looking at it from a different angle and there's only like one LED per square, it might, it might be a little bit challenging for you to find those LEDs and it will be hard for you to justify which piece to move when you're playing against a computer or playing online. And I'll say again that there is no Bluetooth device under the board. You'll need to purchase the separate module, the chess link, to play online. The chess link is an actual device used to play with the board. It is only a Bluetooth unit. So you can use this device to connect to your phone, such as your Android system or your Apple iPhone even a tablet it should work so it doesn't matter as long as you have chess.com pre-installed on your phone it should work so you can use chess.com to play online so chess.com has allowed every eboard user to play with eboards and play online via bluetooth this is the chess genius this is the chess genius element and we can see our moves here as well. So these will all be recorded and saved as you're playing a game. I'm going to set up a new game. I have the white pieces on the wrong side. So this is why the LEDs are flickering. The white pieces should be on this side. So this is why we need annotations on the board. Because it can be hard to justify which side the pieces should be on. Should the white pieces be on this side or this side? Anyhow, this board does have RFID chips pre-installed in them, so it knows where the pieces should be. Ah, oh, look at this. You can see that the queen should be on the correct square. So you can take that for reference. So that you can see that these LEDs are still showing because the queen should be on the correct square. The white queen is always on the same color and the same for black. Now the lights will go out. And we can start a new game. So white will be first. The computer is black, I'm playing as white. So if you look at these LEDs, as I said before, Every square has, has LEDs in each corner per square. So it'll be easier to find where to place the piece. Okay, so this bishop will take this knight. So in, form, in terms of the LEDs, these LEDs flicker, they blink. 
and in some eboards, the LEDs will just remain on. Whereas for this, this board, the Millennium Chess Genius and the Millennium Tournament 55 Supreme, these LEDs flicker. I like to hear the beeps when I get in check. I'm not playing serious enough. What if I exchange this piece for the white bishop? Let's see what happens. Yeah, so the lights will remain on and it's telling me that I've got to swap them back. This is a power bank for the Millennium Chess boards. And you can charge them and play wherever you want because this is a portable device. Otherwise, you will need to connect it directly to the wall socket. There is a power adapter provided for every board and they are connected through the unit, the brains of the unit. So you'll have to connect the power supply to the back of this module right there. And there is a pin that connects directly to the board itself to communicate with the to communicate with the unit. But if you are to use the Millennium Chess Link with this board, you don't need this at all. You can detach this, disconnect it, and connect it directly to the pin here. You connect your power adapter to this. 9 volt DC socket right there and the board pin cord will be connected to the chessboard itself to communicate and then you will use your mobile phone or tablet to play online through chess.com. Now let's look at the chess classics module. To start a new game you can just click on new game, confirm. Now all of the LEDs are on because it's because everything has reset, I got to place the pieces back so the LEDs will show up. Once the pieces are back, the LEDs will go out. Now it's ready for a new game. We can adjust the brightness of the LCD. If you don't want it, you can just toggle here. And there are various levels, there are different levels for brightness. I'll leave it off so that you can see it easily. And it's ready for a new game right now. Let's go back. We have menu. In the menu, you can see the options there are, that there are. So if you want to play against the computer as black, you can prompt the device to move first. There's hint. If you get stuck, you can opt for this so that you will see what places are, sorry, you'll see what positions are best to move. You have various levels as well. This is a tough engine to beat. I've never won against this at all. Next best move, you can save your progress. You can analyze a game. So you can use the board to place the pieces and analyze a game, or even prompt the computer to decide what the best move will be. You can play against a person, so to play, and record your moves as you play. You have auto, so you can, you can witness and observe the computer versus the computer. There are options as well. So this is for, um, you know, if you, want to, if you want to turn off the sound, you can do so right there. You can set up the pieces, um, verify. Actually, for setup. Yes, so you can set up zero to move. Oh sorry, you can set you can set up your pieces. Place chessmen, press options for various positions. You can decide white to move, move number. So I'll lift up a piece and you'll see the moves on the screen. So it's white versus black. I am white.
it's thinking. So if I want to save this progress, I can just go to menu, look for save. And I can save my progress here. Yeah, just click on save and it will save. And it's saved already. If I want to load it, I can just go to save again and click on load. So each of these bars are slots per save. And you just load it. Click on load and it's back to where I was before. These are the pieces I just moved. So it's a pretty good device, the Millennium Supreme Tournament 55. It's a big sized board, so it will probably be a little bit challenging to store this or um, play it on a big, on a small table. If you have the lack of space, perhaps the Chess Genius exclusive from Millennium is also a better option because it's smaller. However, for the pieces, these pieces are more refined and more detailed than the Chess Genius exclusive. I tend to lean on these pieces because they are more, they look more prestigious. You can see the detail of the knight there. So that's the Tournament 55 by Millennium, a tournament sized electronic chessboard with RFID chips implanted in each piece and four corners per LED per square. So it's a really fancy board. It doesn't have annotations, but we can see the progress through the LCD screen should you connect a modular unit to the device and play against a computer, you can do so. You can play online through chess.com or Lee Chess with the chess link. The only downside with these kind of boards is that you have to purchase separate units in order to get what you want. So should you want to play online, you do need to get the actual chess link to provide Bluetooth support capabilities for your phone. Also, there's the clutter. So if you're playing with this computer, you have to also carry uh, additional devices as well. And this kind of does hinder the, hinder the convenience of playing with this board outside should you carry it to another person's place. Or if you are going to play in the park or something, you do need additional devices such as the power bank to provide power and a chess link to play online. So there is the inconvenience of having clutter and wires on the side of the board. However, everything has its pros and cons. It is a modular design. It is a modular board. So if you find that some devices are not working, such as the chess link, it's easier to swap. You can just replace it. Whereas if the Bluetooth internals are inside of this board, you'll have to open it up or get it serviced. So this is an advantage of this kind of design from Millennium. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you would like to check out my other videos, I have other eboards that I have reviewed in my channel as well. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.